Say, for example, if you fund your kid's education through your saving account. So say, let's say you put, you put $100,000 there. Then after 18 years, the money doubled. But you, you, you need to pay interest. You need to pay the, the, uh, the money on the interest you uh, earned. Then and you, you get taxed. If you, if you put in a brokerage account, so if the money doubled, then you will pay you know, long-term gain tax on that. So if, you, if, you, if you're a day trader, you, you trade every day, I mean, every month, if any gain within one year, you just pay at the ordinary income tax bracket, which is very high. So that, that give you the money you put in the 529 plan, the gross on the account was tax-free when your kids withdraw used for the qualified education. And here are the benefits. And mo most of the states, that's, they give you tax-free benefits as well, but you have to check with, with your states. And this, you can, you can you know, give high, high contribution amount. If, if you have extra money, there's no uh, limit you, how much you can contribute. And there's no income restriction, not like the other plan. You, you can put as much as you can and you can afford. And the other thing is, this gives you the parents in control. Say, for example, you have two children and you open two accounts and you save for 18 years. At the, at the, eight, the 18 years, if the, one, the kids say, I'm not going to go to college, you know, I, I want to drop out of school, do whatever I want, and that gives you the control. You can, you know, transfer that account, give to your second kid. At least parents in control. If versus like Akma, Atma, then once the kids reach majority, pretty much they take the money, do whatever they want. It doesn't have to, you know, spend on the education. Then you have nothing to say about it. And you can, you can, I mentioned, you can always change the beneficiary. You, you are in control. And uh, uh, once you said, a, a, what a, the worst case scenario, like if your two kids, they decided we don't want to go to school anymore. So you can, you can, you can take a uh, non-qualified withdrawal as long as you pay that 10% uh, of federal tax penalty. So that's the worst case scenario. So this talk about the 529 plan, saving plan for the, the state-sponsored tuition program, you know, divide, also uh, designed to provide your tax incentive to encourage families to send kids to go to college. Because the government also wants their well-trained uh, labor in the, in the workforce. If, if, you, if you can make more, the government can tax you more. Actually, it's you know in their best interest as well. So the government want your kids uh, to go to college and get education, and so do you. And you want your kids get ahead among most of the kids. At least give them a head start. As a parent, at least that's something you know you can do for them. At the tax advantage, when you withdraw the money, pay your tuition for for your kids. Actually, you're exempt from the federal income tax. On the gross, uh, then you, the qualify withdrawal, there's no uh, uh, income tax. It's and you can also can treat, receive favorable uh, gift and estate, estate tax treatment. Like recent, currently you can contribute uh, for uh, $13,000 to your each kids, if your parents, and actually you can you know both give the kids thirteen thousand dollar each, and without paying gift tax, that's something you know you can think about that. It, but if you contribute more, you you still can do that. But the difference you still you need to pay the gift tax. But why don't take advantage on that? Actually, you know your uh, uncles, aunts, or, or your your grandparents, if they want to contribute. That's a way to do that. Also, funding the education. The more fund you put in there, the better you know they get. They have more uh, freedom to choose. You know, 
private school versus uh, public school. So here is additional benefits which we talked about. And uh, the good thing about you choose a financial uh, a 529 plan and those funds and w uh, are managed by a professional, professional money manager, which they, they know what they're doing, doing because that's what they make living. And the good thing about uh, active management is they put in a fund, they say they do assets allocation, diversification, and sometimes the, 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 man, the active manage, the benefit of active management is the, say today if, uh, uh, say if one sector, say small sector, doing extremely well and gains 30%, well overperforms, and they, at the, at each year, they can rebalance it. They, you know, withdraw, take the gain, and you know, invest in some other fa sectors, rather than just like the, the index fund. Let it run. The index. The problem of the index fund is, you know, depends on when you're going to use the money. So if you the the, the, the money at the, the year you're going to withdraw the money, like 2008, 2009, if the portfolio of the market dropped to half. Your own, your kids instead of go to four year college, he or she just can you know afford to go to two year, so that's that's the uh, the disadvantage. So college saving effect on the financial aid. So here here they show you the cost of the attendance to college. You, that's this part is shows you what's your expected family uh, contribution. So the, they tell you the percentage, how they calculate it. Then they then the formula comes to a financial need. Actually, you, how much that's the, how much money you need to finish the college. So let's review. High education leaves great opportunity, and especially in today's world, if you're not trained, if you're not get educated, the the chance you probably won't get a get a good job. You probably get the minimum wage. The thing is, when the economy goes down, if say you work at a 7-Eleven or you know you you you're bartender at, 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 the, at the restaurant, then people that's some area people who cuts. I mean, and it's not stable, and you 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 won't find if you get well educated, like if you become a medical doctor, and and you 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 probably you'll get a pretty good job. I mean, they pay you well. And I never heard about any, you know, physicians get laid off because the economy go bad. It, it, you know, if you get sick, you got to see the doctor anyway, right? So you can say, oh, wait, let me wait two years until, you know, my accounts bounce back. You know, you, you, have, to, you have to do that. So, yeah, that's the end of the uh, presentation. So... Uh, I'm going to uh, answer, you know, your questions. If you have any questions, you are uh, welcome to ask. You know me, any questions? Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, it depends on percentage. You, the 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 the, uh, the formula accounts are roughly. Uh, the kids' in, uh, income level like eighty percent. The 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 parents only less than like a, around twenty percent, something. Like uh, depends on how you want to structure. Usually, like uh, the the good way, the the, the good way is like the parents will be will be the uh, the, the the owner of the plane, and uh, you get you get you get a calculating very small portion of it. Yeah. Versus some 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 clients will say, oh, I want put in my uh, grandfather grandmother's name or uncle aunt's. The thing is, the f the, f the first year they, they 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 because it's not in the, in the calculation the first year, but the second year, I mean, whatever in the accounts, it will count in in the student income, which will result in a higher uh, taxation. That that means maybe you, you, then you get tax instead of you, you, your original go to four year college. Maybe after tax you you just you know probably go to two and a half years, three years. 
it, it's always pros and cons. Dep depends on how you want to structure it for, for tax purpose and uh, how, how you want to play it. Actually, it's not, a, not a, a, a set answer, so that's why I want to work with people because your situation is different with, with, with other people. So what, what's your goal? So object is different. So that's, it's, it's very unique individual choice. But the, 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 pur the purpose of this account is tax saving. You know, if you have extra money, why you put, put, a, put a, a stock account, a regular, you, 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 you pay tax versus, you know, open this account. You do the same thing, you, you know, and the, gro uh, the, the growth on that, if your kids go to college, you, know, you, don't, you don't pay that. So that's the that's advantage. Why don't take that advantage? Which those uh, program is available to you? I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Uh, anyone has any questions? No, want me to address? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh no, no. The thing, the thing is. Uh, those 529 plan, the way they, s they, they uh, you actually you have different choices. What, what, what my preferred client I'm working with them, I kind of use age-based uh, uh, funds rather than use like aggressive fund you know, or conservative fund. If you invest too conservatively, maybe after 18 years, you just don't have enough money for they go to full college. If you aggress invest aggressively, Depends on the market when you're going to use the money. Some aggressive fund, you know, they lose 70% in 2008. You definitely don't want your kids in that situation. So that's why I like most of the clients, I would recommend age base. Like say, if your ideal situations, after your kids was, was born, you start to put money every month. And then, the first, then the eight years, the manager will know. Oh, you, 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 your, your, your time frame is 18 years. So maybe the first 10 years, he goes. The first five years, they go very aggressive. Maybe for start from eight years, seven years, it kind of goes to the more balanced one. Maybe at the the last five years, they more leaning toward to the to the income fund. So that will help you mitigate the risk. A lot of people, they, they have 401k at their, their, their work. Basically, they, they buy whatever available on their, you know, they have 10, 12 funds available. You, first, you have very limited, you know, choice. And among those, you know, 10 funds, probably you don't get the, be the best for performed fund, the best fund for you. And if you want, you know, that's the program uh, available. If you want to catch like 6% six, six or 8%, whatever the employee match, 